record. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. It's 2.48. We're headed down to Seville, Ohio to uh, pick up some wheels for Andrew, actually, in his 3 Series. It's a beautiful Take day. the next exit in half a mile. We're up at uh, 42 degrees on Route 8 South, just coming into Akron. It's pretty crappy, actually. Um, so we're going to go get wheels, and we'll talk to you on the way, probably. All right, so it is now 3.39, no problems with that. Nice guy, John, he's an older gentleman, he retired, had an E30 M3 that he used for, uh, for autocross. So we got the wheels from him. They're all in really good shape, all clean, all true. One of them's in the back seat. I didn't fold the rear seats. Three of them actually fit in the trunk. I'd um, open it, but uh, it's yeah, kind of so tricky. We'll, we'll show you the design when we get back. We're gonna take Alex back to Roswell's house. Shitty and, uh, day out. Yeah, it's 41 now, it's getting colder. Still dropping 40 degrees. Um, a little bit of earth, wind, and fire here to enjoy. Um, now headed to the grandparents' house. My dad's headed back to San Diego today. He flew in last week, um, actually a week ago tonight from San Diego for Christmas and all that stuff, so he's going back tonight. Um, I think he has a red eye through Denver, so it leaves here at 8.40, which isn't bad, but going west, he gets home at 11, which will, actually, that's not really a red eye, it's just a late night. So anyways, we got the wheels. They're all really clean, nice shape. There's like two marks on one from mounting tires on them one time. So that's to be expected. No curb rash, they all look perfectly true. 200 bucks, Andrew got those wheels for me. Andrew got a great deal on those wheels, so I don't know how I'm gonna get them to him or how he's gonna get here to get them from me, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go down to Silver Lake. We're gonna get something to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm starving. We're gonna get dinner, then get him, get him up to the airport um, for his flight tonight, and then I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I could actually use a catch-up day, or, or is it time to start taking down Christmas stuff yet? That's the question. Is December 29th too early? Yeah, usually I wait until after New Year's, but you guys don't know this yet. I'm not going to be here after New Year's. And no, I'm not going to California. It'll be a different trip somewhere I have never been before. So uh, stay tuned for the vlogs. I think it'll be a good time. Uh, anyways, I may start that process tonight. Since I slept in today, I should have plenty of energy to work tonight and uh, maybe get a lot of stuff done. I don't know. Or maybe nothing will get done. You'll see. He's moving the Genesis, so this one goes inside, and then we're going to Parisons to get some spaghetti dinner. It's gonna be good. All right, so we kind of got dicked. Uh, went to the grandparents after after the wheels got dinner. That was all fine. Went up to the airport. That was good. Dropped him off. That was good. Turned around and got about three or four miles towards home, and he called and he said the flight was an hour earlier than we had originally planned for. That is not good. So we went back, picked him up. Um, the next available flight that he got on is now tomorrow at 2, so we're going to go back. I'm going back over there tomorrow at noon. We'll pick him up, take him to the airport, and uh, then I'll probably start taking down their Christmas stuff since I'm not going to be around at the end of next week. Anyhow, um, right now it's 8... is it 8.53? Wow, okay. Um, headed back home. I'm just approaching downtown. Uh, Colt and I are going to change oil in the 540. Uh, before I disappear, you want some fresh oil. It's been been a while. I think it's overdue. So you got the oil on the filter, I guess. So we're going to uh, do that. So stay tuned. All right, Andrew, there are your wheels boxed up. Um, the last clip in this video will probably be me out here at like 4 or 5 a.m. showing you each wheel, or I may do a separate video or something as I knock the oil filter off the uh, cabinet there. This, fun fact, actually came with my car when I bought it. The guy wrote 2005 on there, so that's finally going to get used. I've always bought new ones. So he's bringing this up. I'm going to put this on the ramps and uh, put some 5W30 in it. Yep, got it. Is it pissing? Yep. Ah, yeah. It's pissing. And before you guys ask, yes. Yes, I did remove the... Son of a bitch up there, uh, the cap, and the dipstick, and the filter is untightened. What are so, you filming? 
I'm filming. For what? For the vlog. You got a problem with that? No. That's what I thought. So, hey, anything you want to say? You have air time. Um, I don't know. My vlogs will be up shortly. I just need to catch up. I have a month behind and I feel horrible about it. Okay. Apology not accepted. Oh man, you'd think it's raining outside or something. You just think it's raining, but hey, your car's locked. Yeah, so we have not reassembled the rear because, well, we got the speaker, right? But it's a eight ohm speaker, or is it a four? And the DSP system uses whatever the one that he got is not. So uh, friggin' we gotta swap the speaker within the housing because when the strut got cocked, it went through the housing. So it's, it's gonna be fun, but we're gonna do that. We're probably gonna take down some Christmas stuff today after we get your Earl changed. Hey, How's Ryan, it coming? What happens if this fills up this pan? Oh, we're shit out of luck, bud. Is it gonna fill up? It's about an inch from the top. Uh oh. No, I don't. Ryan. Guys, check that out. That is the, the most. I mean, the engine is at full operating temperature, so it's hot as crap. But that is the thinnest oil I have ever seen. It's like water dripping out. That's crazy. So we're gonna let that go. Hey, while that goes, you get up. We're gonna take the filter out and let the uh, filter housing drain down. We're gonna need a plastic satchel here. Okay, quote left. It's 2.35 a.m. Uh, we got the fender put on the car. That looks good now. We changed the oil in the car and I am whooped. I need to go up, get in bed. I'm gonna sleep for only about seven hours, then I gotta get up and go back to the airport. So, Andrew, I will show you the wheels tomorrow. I may make you a, a se separate video and put it as like unlisted on E39 source or something so you can see that in detail, but I, I do not have energy to go out and open up four boxes full of wheels and turn them around and stuff, so sorry. We'll do that tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna go lay down, get something to drink, and, and go to bed. So we'll talk on Monday. Good night.